Hey there, it's Bertus Engelbrecht again. I just shot this video very quickly um, as a support video for you with some extra tips on troubleshooting and those kind of things for if you are having a problem and you cannot solve it yourself. Right, so the first thing that you have to do if you have any kind of problem with it, you can't install it, it doesn't run, um, it gives an error, anything at all. First go to the members area at autopinterestmarketer.com uh, slash member. Go to the support section here. Have a read through everything here. Okay. Look at the two, the troubleshooting section. Um, they say if a capture verification pops up while the software is running, fill it in manually. This normally op only happens once per run and then you should be all set again. Okay. So check in regularly for that. Also if anything else not working go through each of these steps to see and make sure that you are doing this or that you have taken this into consideration. Right? Only when you finish with all of that and you've watched this video then uh, please contact me using this form below in the support section. Okay? Um, please allow 24 hours at least Look at my business at uh, times. If it's weekend, you may have to allow me a little bit more than that. You can also mail me at this email here. Uh, you can also find me on the Warrior Forum and PM me there. I'm doing all the support myself, so I will give my personal um, attention to your problem and try to help you to solve it. Right, so I quickly want to uh, tell you a few other things about the software. Um, a few problems that you may experience there and tell you how you can solve it. Right, so this is the software. This is what it looks like, as you probably know already. Um, I see some people have been um, contact me having, having problems when they are pinning images. You have to follow the tutorial videos to the letter. That means you need to fill in something in each one of these fields okay don't leave anything blank even in these new ones that I have here it doesn't matter what you fill you must fill in something right so you can put in your keywords there one or two I suggest don't use too many keywords right rather use one or two keys or three keywords that's related to each other so your descriptions are still um, valid and um, make sure you have a board name here it should create the board name um, automatically but just to be on the safe side, go to, you can click here manually if you want here in this browser as well. Go to your boards, go see what the board's name is that you want to post to. Copy and paste that board name. Right, here's all the boards that you have. Copy and paste this one here into this board name to make sure that it posts to the correct board that you want to. Make sure you fill something in here. You can see I put a, um, a full stop right there to start with because when you grab images from Flickr, it grabs part of the description of Flickr as well. Now, if that is too long, then um, it will break off maybe in the middle of a word or a sentence. So I just start with that dot there and put in something. You can have it spinnable comments, anything that you want. Right, have it there. Make sure you fill in a URL, use a link cloaking service, um, maybe redirect your own domains to the affiliate links, whatever you have. Otherwise, when people click on the pin and um, they want to be directed to your affiliate link, it may give an error saying that that specific link has been reported as spam by other Pinterest users. This happens when it's an, um, a very a common kind of a domain like for instance Clickbank or Amazon or something like that. So always cloak your things. And um, have these maxes here as well. Make sure this one is smaller than this one. Have a delay here between your pins even if it's a very small one. The bigger the better if you have enough time. And also the max long delays and the delay minutes here. This will make it seem more natural for Pinterest as well. Right? So this so also for the same other features fill in all the fields that's a big tip that I can give you right if something is not working properly also another tip that I can give you is to look at the top here some people may think that the program is not working properly or that is not doing anything 
right? When it's loading, especially when it's loading the Flickr images and those kind of things, it may seem that it's doing nothing. But you will have to look here. If you see this run button there is pressed like that, you know the software is busy running. It's performing a function, okay? If this stop and pause button is available. It will continue working until you can see the run button turning green again. Then you know it has stopped working. It has completed each function. There won't be any uh, messages that pop up saying that the run is finished. Um, so have a look at this. All right. That's another uh, tip that I can give you. When you first start running the pin images one, it will take a while. It will take a few minutes depending on how many keywords you have to get all the images of Flickr up. And only after that, it will start pinning them to your boards, right? So, Bipage might take a little while, and depending on how fast your internet connection is, your computer, it might take a little bit longer as well. Right, so that's one thing extra. If you have any other feedback, if you have any other problems that I have not discussed, that's not in the support section, please contact me. Uh, this is still new software, so we are constantly trying to improve it and upgrade it to make it better for all the users. And so we will appreciate all feedback for that as well. Thank you very much.